Hello, Builders. Welcome to the Build It All Booking app. I am Jackie DeClerc, your success coach. And in this tutorial, I want to show you how to add hosts, set up your integrations, as well as the booking calendar settings. So right here, we are on the booking app. We're first going to go to the host area right here by clicking on it. You will see that you will be able to delete the hosts just like I'm doing right now. And you would be able to add any additional hosts right here at the top. So we're going to go and click on new hosts and we're going to give it a name. We're going to give it an email address. And you can add a telephone number like that. Now I can see it's been added right there in that area. Now you can add multiple hosts. You don't need to only have two. You can have how many, how many you want by just clicking on new hosts. Now we're going to go to the integration section and right here we can see that we've already got all the defaults been added. You don't need to do that. If you are integrating it with any of these other uh, tools, you don't need to worry about it because it's already been set up. All you really need to do is to connect Zoom or Google Meet. So let's do that by clicking on create new integration. We're going to start with the Google Calendar by clicking sign in with Google. And then you're going to choose the account that you want to use. And it's going to ask you to continue. And sometimes it will ask you additional permissions, especially if your booking app is connected to more than one booking calendar. And now you can see that it's been connected right here in this area. So now let's go do the Zoom. We're going to click on create new integration. Click with Zoom going to ask us to also give authority for it especially if you have never integrated it it's going to put you through exactly the same process by bringing up a block just like the google calendar so you can see that we've got the tool set up right there so let's move forward to the settings area in the settings area under the general we are going to change our booking URL. This is the default that you can use. So I can decide just to have it as trainings. And then you're going to choose which currency you want to identify this specific booking calendar with. So you can, in this case, we just got the United States. We'll leave it at that. You can add additional country codes. We've got the US currently, but you see if you click on any of these, you would be able to add anything that you like. So let's just click on Australia and you can see you add it. You can also delete it by just clicking on it. Then we're gonna go to the date and hours. This is where you choose the time zone that your calendar needs to operate in. You've got your time format that you can choose 12 hours and 24 hours and then also the day of the week that you want to start, start your calendar with. So in this case, we can say our week starts on a Monday. And then you can just choose if you want the AM or PM to be toggled on and off. Sometimes people rather, especially if it's a 24 hour calendar, they don't really need to have the AM, PM because the 24 already tells you exactly the time. Once you've done that, you're going to go to notifications. And in the notification area, you can choose the notifications that you want to receive when somebody has made an actual booking. So the first one is to receive notifications of new pay payments and cancellations in a notification center. Now the notification centers, if you click on it, it's going to take you to the notification area where you will see when a booking has been made. That is basically giving it authority so that it will be shown in that area. You can also be cho chose to go via email in this area, as well as a recipient for the admin notifications can also be added right there. And an additional feature that is very cool, we've got it via the browser app as well. If you enable it, you will only be able to possible to receive the notifications in your browser if you actually allow that to be received in the settings. Then you've got also your email senders that you can add right here. You can change it accordingly. And it's important to remember to manage your email senders and new mailing boss. You're going to have to go and create a list right here if you want them to be added. And that is basically all there is. Remember between each and every one of these areas, make sure that you always click on save so that you don't have to go and repeat it again. Now you know how to get your calendar ready by adding important information. Next is to go and watch the tutorials below this video to learn how you can create each of the different types of calendars. And that's all from me. See you next time, builders. Bye.